people, welcome back, man. Mike here, and we are back on Forza 6, of course. And today, we're jumping into a brand new series. Now, this is the Timberland series. Now, we're getting into faster cars, man. As you can see, we got the Sport GT, Exotic GT, we got Supercars, Grand Tour, we got Hypercars, and of course, we got some vintage in here as well, man. So, I'm excited to kick off this series with you guys. And uh, we're actually going to be picking a car today. In fact, I already know what car I'm going to be using for the Sport GT. So, let's Meet see. The Supercar Killers. Supercar Killers. Cars that can hold their own against the world's most exotic machinery without sending your bank manager into cardiac arrest. <laughs> With astonishing acceleration and enough grip to peel tarmac, they offer serious bang for your butt. And you might even see one in the real world. Not just in music videos. <laughs> Not just in music videos. All right, man. So, oh my God, look at my baby. I actually just bought this a couple of days ago. Not in real life, in the game. You know, not in real life just yet. But I picked up this car a couple of days ago, and you already know this is my favorite car in the whole game, man. My dream car. So you know we're running with the Z06. Now it is upgraded, of course, because I've been drag racing online with it and um, get my ass kicked as well. So we're not gonna be talking about that, man, but we are gonna be rolling with the Z06. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to downgrade it. Illegal car, yeah. Due to its upgrades, okay, so it's not legal, so I'm gonna have to take a few downgrades off. The car has an engine aspiration. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go in here and um, take off some upgrades myself. <laughs> Cannot be greater than 750. All right, so I already know what I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna go into the engine. No, where is, yeah, conversion. So I, I put the racing engine on it for uh, drag racing, but um, we're gonna just take that off and we're gonna install the stock powertrain. That should bring our rating down to 756. Okay, so we can't be higher than 750. So, um, Another thing I want to do is I want to put this back on. No, stock. Yeah, my, my stock uh, stock wing back on there. It looks so ugly without the wing. Okay, so we're down to 753. What else did I put on? You know, I think I have some drag tires on here as well. So if I take those off, well, we want to take those off. We can't race with drag tires anyway. All right, so we got some race tires. But why does it go up to 794? That's weird as hell. Okay, you know, I think we could get away with this. So I'm going to install the race tires. But I'm also going to go in and I, I also put all-wheel drive on this car as well. <laughs> it, it's so, all-wheel drive is so insane on, on this car vet. Um, so let's see, where is it? I got to find out. It's probably in conversion. Okay, drivetrain swap. So let's put this back on. Um, you know what? You know what I wanna do? I wanna keep the all-wheel drive on because the Carvette is so much better with all-wheel drive. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the stock tires back on. Um, let's do that. So we're at 780. What the hell? Why am I at 780? Engine. Um, <laughs> displacement. What kind of display? Okay, yeah, none of this upgraded. So, why the hell do I have a 780 rating when I just took uh, the drivetrain off? See, it wants me to take all wheel drive off, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, let's 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 take all wheel drive on. So, we're real wheel again. Um, a roll tires and rims. I already changed this. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can bring my sizes. Okay, yeah, my my tire sizes are already. Um, okay, the rear will bring it down a little bit, but uh, I'm trying not to take a lot of stuff off. Uh, what about the clutch? My clutch is not upgraded. That's not upgraded. Um, race differential. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't make any difference at all. Um, God damn it. Let me see if I can auto 
No, I can't do it. So I, I need to find some stuff to take off. What about, uh... So handling, let's talk about the springs. All right, I had to chop the video up. My damn controller batteries died, but we're back, man. So anyway, like I was saying, um, we need to bring these, this, this rating down. Like I'm trying my hardest <laughs> to keep certain stuff on here, but it's just not letting me do it. Let's just take these roll bars off. Um, okay, that, that doesn't make a difference, so we can leave that on. Roll cage, we don't need a roll cage. Weight reduction, this might help us. Okay, yeah, this helped us a lot. <laughs> so we're at 738 now, If we, we need to put the weight back on it. Okay, so with that being done, let me try and put my race tires back on. Ah, we're seven, 7.54 if I put the race tires on. Okay, so what if I... Um, what if I just go back to all of my stock tire widths and then try to add 7.52? You know what? I think we can work with that. Um, let me go back to my springs. If I take that off, okay, we're at 7.49. So we'll just take the springs off. Now, we should be good to go. We're at 749, which is perfect. So, I was able to put my race tires on. Um, I was not able to keep the all-wheel drive, unfortunately, but it's okay. We're good. All right, so we should be legal now. Yes, we are. All right, so we're going to Watkins Glen. I believe I know this track. We got six laps and the Z06 Sport GT Division. Let's go. Your next race will be at Watkins Glen, historic site of the US Grand Prix. All right, man, here we are. Now, of course, before I forget, let me update my driver difficulty. Um, I was driving on a different difficulty for the showcases I was running. Let's put this back on pro. And um, let me make sure all of my assists or still the way I left it. Okay, um, assist. Off, ABS off, normal off, manual. All right, man, we looking good. Let's go on and get it. You know, I got so many mods in here that I didn't even use yet. Um, I guess I could boost the grid position. I mean, why not? Uh, boost, single use. I got another boost. <laughs> I got another boost. Um, superb passing, affinity level, crew, 8% braking, oh, I have this installed already, um, single use, boost, XP boost, we got a dare, we got a lot of boosts in here, improved preparation, grid position, you know what, let's use this grid position, plus three, let's use that. All right, man, let's go. All right, man, so we up three spots in the beautiful blue on black Z06. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we start off in ninth place. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, got past that real quick. Come on, Vanquish, you're in the way, Brick Dog. All right, man, let's go. We got another vet up here. Let me draft him real quick. Oh, what that Vanquish pulled off on my ass. Oh, the vet went off road. You in the way, kid. Watch out. Boy, that Vanquish got some top speed on it, huh? He can't handle the lateral Gs like a pull, though. This vet is a killer on the corners.
Okay, let's see if we can catch up to first and second. We got enough laps to do it. All right, good turn, good turn. Ah, that was an ugly turn. It's all good. We're not losing that much ground. Because I can really hold my own in these corners. I think we can pull like 1.3 Gs. I think we, think we gaining a little bit. If I could just keep it together, we'd be all right. Ah, it's kind of like a stalemate, man. I can't. I'm trying to get up there, it's not working out. Think about the vet man, it's good in corners and it has acceleration, but the top speed really lacks. Well maybe if I take this rear wing off, I might can get some speed off of it. I like the rear wing though. It looks so much better with it than without it. Dude, these dudes are not easy to catch at all. Hopefully one of them screw up or something. Look like we about to lap the whole pack, man. So I gotta. Gotta be on my P's and Q's, make sure I don't run into none of them. Alright, we gaining some ground. I don't know if it's quick enough, though. Got a Viper. We're coming get you, boy. Hopefully the pack slows down first place. Maybe I can catch him too. Ah, that was a really slow turn. Go ahead and slow down, Viper. You can't hit these corners like me, boy. Okay, so we got second. We got one more lap after this. Nice. I think we could catch first place. I think we could do it. Yeah, first place getting slowed down by the pack. <laughs> That's gonna work out in our favor.
Hopefully they don't slow me down. Watch out, GTR. You too slow, homeboy. Yep, I'm coming. Daddy's home. Come on, boy. I'm right on you. I'm right on you. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> he can't hold them G's. He can't hold them. Let's make him pay for it. that turn up damn we could have had him we could have had him <laughs> but I'll take second damn it is on pro so it's not gonna be that easy to catch him but I did good man so ah race number one oh what can we get in here formula E oh and that's what we got oh and we got 300,000 credits, or is that how much it's worth? I don't know, but I'll take it. All right, affinity level. I, I got it, I got it. All right, man, race number one of the Timberland series is complete. Came in second place. What a race, race a what a race. America, attracting 800,000 visitors a year with over 400 events held annually. All right, man, so next track, we're at Road America, man. But listen, guys, as always, we're going to start the next race in the next video. If you guys enjoyed the start of the Timberland series, make sure to slap that like button, man. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to sub before you leave. So listen, guys, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next race. Peace.